dynamic calibration uh, for these Bulgo 9000 series air cuts. Uh, had to use the Dynacal to make adjustments to calibration on the fly without having to stop and recalibrate. I have noticed that uh, it can be quite sensitive. It can be, you can see changes in calibration between uh, varieties of wheat. I've seen it with different days of pickling in the seed, different days of grading. I've seen it with different loads of DAP, the calibration factor can change quite, quite, uh, quite often. In this video I'll show you how to change it and the, uh, the steps to do so, how to diagnose it and where to go through, through from there. Here we are with the scale set up for tank one of this car. On and the implement is raised, and I'm going to show you how to do a recalibration using the Dynacal feature on this foregrip cut. So, at the moment, this one here represents the amount of weight that I have in the scales. I will make a video showing you how to calibrate the scales if someone uh, would like to see that one day. Once you have it calibrated, this is how you make sure that what you've got here, what should have gone out, is the same. So if you look at this one, this is the three ton in here at the moment, and I've got like three, theoretically should have had this much left in the car. So to make those the same, when you fill up the tank, press the scar button, weight there is the theoretical weight, so down here is the scale weight. So every time you fill up, just hit that button and it'll reset the weight. That's it. Now those numbers should track as close as possible to each other uh, and uh, essentially all the way down. If you've got the calibration right and you've used it correctly, those numbers should track to each other at all times. If it is not tracking, about the same all the time, you need to adjust your calibrations. Yeah. If you're putting out not enough, you need to, if it says that you are using less than the requested rate, you need to go into this button, which I've heard set up for Bali here, go to your calibration factor, press manual entry, and change that calibration factor by a certain amount, depending on how much you think it's out. If it's 50% out, you'll have to change it by 0.01 of a number. So it's a 0.00420 at the moment, you might get a 0.0520. That would be if you're using more than requested. If it's less than requested, you might get in a 0.0320. Think of it like this, if it's going out too heavy, the number needs to be higher. If it's going out too light, the number needs to be lower. Now if you're using 10% more than what you need to, you might shift the number to say 0.04 kilograms. That's giving me a 0.02 difference between the between the calibration factor, okay? That will be enough to make probably 10% worth of the difference. If it's not, press it again, start it again. When you make a recalibration change like that, you need to reset the weight that is in your tank. Now I did that before, but you need to do it every time you make a calibration change. Very critical, otherwise, uh, what's in their box and the theoretical won't be tracking the same after you've made the calibration change, which means it could be thrown out. If the change is within 10%, the X35 will give you a, a hint of what calibration factor to go to. If you don't do that, if it's above 
percent, then you will not get given a calibration factor, and you may need to adjust it manually on your own. It's above the ten percent change. It'll tell you to inspect the rollers and recalibrate. You don't have to recalibrate. You can inspect the rollers if you need to. If you think that may be your issue, and it can be for sure with these cards, they are a little bit prone to getting your rear and DRP gunked up in the bottom of them. Um, pays to open them up, you know, once every week and, and poke them out a bit if you working over fairly wet ground or have had some rain but the simple fact is that sometimes you just have to make that uh, calibration factor up on the spot you know right it's tracking it 40 to 50 percent out right well I might need to change this figure by quite a lot to achieve what we're trying to achieve here again Want to go if it's going out too light, lower the number. If it's going out too heavy, make the number higher for that lower and higher. That's the only way I can uh, figure out how to remember it. You get used to it after the first 50 changes that you make. I generally don't find that we have to calibrate this thing even with a C change or a DRP change or a third change. If you know what you're doing with those numbers, you shouldn't have to recalibrate. If it's the first time using that particular product in the bin, then it probably pays to calibrate down the back and then so you can figure out how to do that in the multi take calibration, which is automatic calibration here. You can go through that sequence and get it done. Once you've done it once, you should be able to adjust on the fly without having to stop. It's the whole idea. You can see this one's tracking about 40 kilos difference, but it was, it's not enough to make it be about 5% difference. So it's about going out a little bit heavy. So it is going out a little bit light. If it doesn't come up with an error that says you're uh, doesn't come up with there it says your calibration factor could be incorrect and to inspect or to change it that it's within five percent it's probably okay but it's going to take at least a couple of hectares for it to figure that out so just take that into account when you get going suddenly you get a bunch of orange boxes pop up at the top you need to address one of them each at a time go through the steps how much is the percentage difference how much should I change it? Well, that's a fair bit. You might need to change it a fair bit. Just don't be afraid to take bigger steps, but again, you just want to be working in that 0 .01, 0 0.001 range uh, to make your adjustments. Uh, this is what I've done for barley, for mat, for canola, and for wheat. You know, something that's a little bit uh, bulkier, then you may have to make a few different changes. That's generally what I found.